Hey you guys, obviously I'm not an artist. In this video, I'll be moving away from the Hammers of War and looking at the Goonies. Yes, 1985's pint-sized treasure hunters. I have the board game and I'm yet to play it, but I do have the minis painted out anticipation. These minis are, well, well, they're a bit rubbish. The caveat that I'm used to painting highly sculpted miniatures. And obviously I'm not an artist and therefore do not possess the skill to make these minis look like the Goonies. So they're not highly detailed and have some wicked mold lines. What's the strategy? Contrast paint. For those unfamiliar, contrast paint is designed to base and shade at the same time. Let's take a look at the minis, starting with Mikey Walsh. I started with a white and grey zenithal prime, followed up by a yellow and flesh contrast, then using some grey, blues, greys and browns to finish. Next up, Clark Mouth Devereaux, lots of greys here. His pose is interesting. I think he's combing his hair with a steel comb, which means, ugh, lead belcher. From here, we have Richard Data Wang, yet more grey. If anyone thought the 80s was a neon splash colour fest, apparently not. Obviously, I'm not an artist, but do vividly remember the 80s, and it was kind of grey, specifically where I grew up. These minis came with pre mold bases. I decided to go with a selection of earth tones to represent the fact they spend the majority of the adventure underground. Now we have Lawrence Chunk Cohen. He's probably my favourite mini, despite the hunched pose. I'm very happy with the flowers on his shirt. Not that you can see him particularly well with this video. These minis are a little bit smaller than I'm used to working. This I didn't know. Lotney Sloth Fratelli. Interesting name, Lotney. Can't say I've never met a Lotney. Obviously, I'm not an artist, but do meet at least 150 to 200 new people a year. Anyway, I thought about attempting the Superman shield, but relented as I felt I currently don't have the skill. I did consider looking to purchase a decal, but on under detailed minis for a board game, I didn't seem to think it was worth it. Moving on to the villains. So here are the Fratellis, Mama, Francis and Jake are all molded onto one base. Jake and Francis are uninspired, but Mama Fratelli, no, sorry, that's Axel Rose. Just a sec. That's better. She's a pretty good sculpt. This one breaks the rules of the movie, as One-Eyed Willy is a threat in the game. However, it literally took me five seconds to paint, as it is Hex Regth Flame, which is a technical paint and a wicked name, over a Korax white undercoat, giving him an ethereal glow. And finally, cut from the original movie is the giant octopus. For those of you unfamiliar, there is a scene cut from the movie where a giant octopus accosts the kids and teens as they first come across the pirate ship, the Inferno. Speaking of the teens, no money's for them as they're represented as one-off cards in the game. So that's the Goonies minis from the board game. If you want to continue to follow as I chronicle the collecting, construction and creating, like and subscribe and comment if you have anything to contribute. And remember, Goonies never die.